My Gavan and Melonine, and well met indeed. I'm Arakir Galadurthan, and welcome back to the battle for Middle-earth as we continue on with the evil campaign. And after cleansing Lothlorien in the first mission, which seems a little bizarre to choose Lothlorien as the first mission, because it should be one of the hardest battles that we've ever, that you fight as the evil nations, but instead they opt to make that number one. Uh, and number two is the Grey Havens. So we've killed off Lothlorien, and then now our army is hightailing it across the continent to <laughs> Mithalon, where we're going to wipe them out, apparently. <laughs> Goblins assemble. Sauron has influence on all things untamed. The goblins have been roused from their mountain caves and will fight for the Dark Lord. Scorpion riding is not canon. We'll allow it. <laughs> Even now, their armies advance on the ancient elven port city of Mithra. Sauron also sends the Corsairs of Umbar to attack from the sea. Umbar! Once this port is destroyed, the elves will have no hope of escaping to the west. The elves have been leaving Middle-earth by means of this port city they call the Grey Havens. Our presence in their harbor will be wholly unexpected. And once we destroy any sign of elves here, we will use this port to reinforce our invasion force into Eriador. Capture the docks. We'll need it to build more ships. Into Eriador. Um, I don't normally call out things that are canon or uncanon, but it just seems that uh, that's an interesting little thing that we can point out is where Battle of Middle-earth takes incredibly um, interesting liberties. Where they get the idea of scorpion riders from, I don't know. I think simply just the rule of cool. Um, and it is pretty cool, isn't it? So why not? It's only a game at the end of the day. Get going, you! Come on, you sea rat! Build some battleships from the docks. We can use them to assault the Grey Haven. Is this going to be like the good mission? I really hope not. Because that <laughs> the good mission, was it, was it here or just the first time you introduced to boats? It was just a horrible, horrible slog. And they got an obscene now. amount of ships. And it felt like a constant uphill battle. Hopefully it won't be as bad as that. Let's improve them. So pirate flax increases the damage done. And this one just improves our armor. And that's all we can do. We will wait until we've got all six of them built. And then we'll go. Because we're going to counter... Encounter fierce resistance, I have no doubt. Ah, brilliant. Oh, is that no, that's a transport, isn't it? The Grey Havens. Send them to the bottom. Sink their ships, sink their ships. Excellent. Our first catch of the day. <laughs> Cross, uh pollination there. Excellent. Our first catch of the day. That one might get away, you know, actually. Nah, we got him. We got him! The water looks quite real, doesn't it? Considering how old this game is, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, what do you want us to do now? We sunk them. Convoy coming from over here. Let's get some more boats. Ideally, we want two squadrons, actually. So, because we can't patrol the entire ocean. Oh, and it improves our money. Why do you need to turn around to shoot arrows? Just shoot the arrows from where you are. Here we are. All right, it's making it rather easy now. We're just sailing up and down, up and down. They seem to fire better if you just put them near the enemy rather than tell them to attack the enemy. And every ship killed is some more money in our coffers, of course. Cough, 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 coffers. I've enjoyed playing Battle of Middle Earth, but uh, the having replayed it now fully um, has opened my eyes to 
some things about this game that I just completely overlooked when I played it as a child. They're attacking us. Oh, and again, we're going to do almost no damage to their warships, and they're going to do loads of damage to us, because of course they are. Right, you're going to be team two. Come over here. Because that transport ship's going to get away otherwise. The water does look really good, doesn't it? That must Oh, that's because of the Battle of Middle Earth. That's because of the HD mod. That is definitely not what the water looked like in the original game. All right. That hopefully is the end of the naval bit. Because the <laughs> navy in this game is such an afterthought. <laughs> oh, we're going to get artillery ships now, almost certainly. Yes, and there they are. How many do they cost? Oh, they are expensive. Team one, go there. Team two, go there. Oh, brilliant! Yep. Yeah. Come on, guys. Let's get some blunder. Use the fire bombs. Line them up. No one's gonna stop us. Well, you guys at the front use your swords. Ones at the back use the fire bombs. The HD mod does go some way to make the game more palatable in the modern era, but uh, there are still a fair few features that, you know, uh, I don't remember being such a bore when I was a kid. You're getting shot by oh, archers. Come on, guys. Let's not be children about this. Get your knives ready. All right, off we go. Destroy the towers. This is very much a introduction to boats, or my first boating. Do they get repaired on their own? No, do we wonder? Isn't that? Oh no, isn't that an elven ship ability actually? Is that your range, really? Holy hell! That is outrageous. Oh, but you're woefully inaccurate at that range. I don't remember them being inaccurate. Time to get busy. Go on. Is that a feature of the mod again? Oh, that's why. They're inaccurate because they're hellishly powerful. Alright, okay. So when they eventually do hit the towers, they destroy them in a single hit. Just getting them to hit is the challenge. If we move them too close to towers, we'll destroy them. Boats die so easily to towers. It's just ridiculous. Yes. No. The catapult doesn't spin. I, I'm sure the catapult used to spin. Maybe I made that up. Make it more palatable for myself. <laughs> oh, these slow missions are so... <laughs> the early missions are, are just extended tutorials. It's just done such a nonsense. Yes, there we go. Are you going to give us some free transports and let's actually play this as a mission? Yes. Oh, no, that's a doom ship. Oh, I can't build a transport at the moment. Yeah, we'll use the black ships. Don't worry about that. Team one, team two are ready. We will cover. Team three, you might as well get down there and fire at what you can. Let's chuck you onto the aggressive mode so that you're ready for it. Wow, oh, team two has been hugely reduced in size. Or has it? Are they all just standing on top of each they're all just standing on top of each other, of course they are. Their ships must be coming from the havens themselves, surely. If they come from out at sea, that's just unfair. But right, in we go. Where is this great enemy we're supposed to be so feared of? Oh, let's build a couple of these, actually. Oh, here they come. They're attacking over here! Look at the damage difference. We have the six ships. Assembled. Prepare for the assault! And they take that long to destroy one. Oh, right, we've actually got to do something. All right, team three, come back and help. 
Is it going to be all Corsairs? Because Corsairs are actually rubbish. Yeah, they're, they're awful. Let's see if we can't use the catapult. Fire ships can be used to take out large concentrations of enemy ships. You might be able to hit the end as well, actually. Yeah, it's just like that. Why was there four shots there? Goblins attack! Destroy the elves! Burn it all down! Why are the goblins... Why did we bother coming by sea if the goblin army was standing behind us the whole time? Oh, we've got a general now, at least. Gorkil, the goblin king. Gorkil can plant a skull totem. Remain in the map till it's destroyed. Reveals the nearby shroud, detects death, and provides armor, and experience bonus to nearby troops. And he can mount or dismount his great um, monster. Ah. It would seem us. that uh, our army has actually been wiped out. <laughs> Ready. Right, there's not any more boats coming though, so move up and see if we can't get the ships to help. Gorkil's already dead. Smashing. Pull away from the... Yeah, there you go, there you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. Pull them to the shore, pull them to the shore, pull them to the shore. We're under attack. More at us. More of them. Come on, ships, there's loads of you. Kill them, kill them, kill them, kill them. Yeah, I think we got it. Getting the ships involved, that's going to help a lot. Oh, we've got ten points. Oh, that's the wrong one. Oh, that's the wrong one. Cave bats. <clears throat> Do we actually want to summon cave bats? I suppose we might as well get them all by the end, I expect. Yes. Victory is ours. Can we please have some builders now? Yes. And we get buildings for free. Oh, good. All right, there we go. <laughs> The beach is ours. Now build a base and destroy the elven city. We'll comply. You may be asking yourself, at what point in the histories of the Grey Havens was it ever assaulted by the forces of Umbar or indeed the goblins? And the answer, of course, to that question the is never. never. We've opened up a new fissure. Um, alas. Useful. Keep your tools ready. This is all just for the game. Uh, Umbar are frequently, in, in lots of uh, different Lord of the Rings media actually, Umbar often attacks the um, Grey Havens, even in Dak actually, because they're the only really standout seafaring nation that you ever hear about. And uh, so they're always chosen as natural um, enemies to the elves. Because the elves are then the other seafaring nation. Of course, the Gondorians are also fairly well uh, versed in the ways of the sea, having been descendants of Numenor and living on the sea. But uh, Umbar are very much considered the sort of masters of the ocean by this time. But then the Umbarim is something that's been discussed at length many, many times. The Umbarim, by this time in the Third Age, are not Numenorian. They don't have any link to Numenor. They aren't even traitorous Gondorians. By this point of the story, Umbar is completely controlled and um, staffed, for want of a better word, by Haradrim. It has long since stopped being a dark Numenorean port and all of the traitors after the civil war in Gondor um, were killed off. So it's not, it's just nothing. Right, so banners will upgrade all our units to level 2. Scavenged armor will give us armor upgrades, which is nice, so we're a little bit hardier. Reach forward base, we do more damage, and then fire arrows. They're all there the stock no and standard here. upgrades that you would expect. You know what to do. Here. We've got Gorkil back with his gigantic eyes. I we were looks a little bit like he's on something, doesn't he? Build. What, else is there to what else is there to build? Hey, builder, get to work. Right, let's uh, get some goblins. 
and let's swarm these buggers. That's how we're going to do it. We will infest this land. Um, I think if we send our ships through the middle, they will almost certainly die. I don't think that's going to be the way to go. Oh, got forged blades. Get a couple of those while we can. I believe we are at our limit for um, these. They normally give you more command points, but that's only really usually in skirmish mode, I think. I don't know if we'll get any more. There will be a cap. Fix that attitude of yours. Right, let's build a tower just in case they do actually do something back. We don't want to go in piecemeal. That's the problem that I have... Mem oh, the, a mistake I have made in the past. Don't want to do that this time. Your king speaks. Your king speaks. A new giant has risen. I to see the range on his sight thing. It's not particularly large. Let's get all of these upgraded so that they churn out our units even faster. And then we're just going to swarm the buggers. We've also got the half trolls now. Half trolls are just anti cav. And this is why we want the towers. Because they are going to attack. Build us dead. Oh, we could build a, another fortress. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. Alright, yeah, go on then. Build me another one of them. Might as well. Get the caves ready, get the caves ready. Oh dear, yeah, no, we can't get any more. Oh, right, we're going to have to attack now, then, because the giants are apparently... Oh, no, it's in all the ships, isn't it? All right, let's send you guys in as scouts, then. The fortress is ready. Hey, I think I smell the enemy. See what they've got posted. All right, we've got some towers. That one's finished. We expanded the cave. It's them. They're attacking. There we go. The Doom ships have done something, but not very much. Hopefully, they'll just keep firing until they're destroyed. All right. Oh, we only get towers. Oh, that's rubbish. Towers and spiders. Spiders just act like close-range guardians. So they, um, the little spiders' huts will pump out spiders every time anyone gets near and they'll just go and attack the enemy like a garrison basically all right let's start moving forward then let's get these towers down fix that attitude of yours oh we also want to get these guys over as well don't we also i'm really not bothered about our fleet to be honest we don't need it we can do everything we need to do here today from the land Look how many ships they've got there, holy hell. But we destroyed the towers, which is good. And our fleet is actually winning. But the archers on the hills, the archers on the bloody hill. The enemy's fortress. They're attacking us. Oh, that's nice. That is a solid strike. Team four. Gorkle, make your way forward. Did we get our transport? Yes, we did. Fortress is going to die, which is nice. They haven't even actually captured these. There isn't really much point in destroying them. The ships that they had are all the ships that they're going to get. We're all going to die. Don't be so certain you're all going to die, elf friend. We're here to free your people, to liberate them, to throw off the yoke of your Valar masters.
Oh, we've got a new skill with him. He makes everyone around him better. <clears throat> That's pretty much it. They're not going to get past the fortress now, though, so it's just a slow, methodic plod of our giants. Right, we will destroy those. Bow before me, vermin. Keep your tools ready. Keep your tools ready. Um, there's no point landing there because we'll just get, they'll just die. So let's land over here and run around. Now, slash him. Mountain giants all the way. I'm going to do a uh, tower rush strategy. It's a shame we're not playing as the uh, Koreans. Or the Incas. Come on, Gorkil, mate. What are you waiting for? Do a thing. He's not very good, is he? Keep the mountain giants moving. How much? 40 command points. I wouldn't really call him a king, to be honest. Pretender, maybe. Sauron is our only king. Oh, how do you actually... Oh, there you go. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Did we destroy it? Yes! Well done, Chippy Chappies. Well done. Are all of these boats contributing to our command point limit, though? Because then it would be one. actually quite useful to have them out. It's them kill them off. Let's grab some oh, plunder. Time to get busy. Get going, you. Listen here. Oh, what does that mean? Oh, that's a targeted Here, ability. We're under attack. The cave is ready. Now! All right, the slow march of the dead. Well, we aren't dead, but you get the idea. We found that camp. Another attack. Oh, wow, that died really easily. All right, there we go. We're off. The goblin horde comes. We haven't lost a mountain giant yet, so which is pretty handy because there's a fortress in the way now. Oh, it's all green. <clears throat> oh, that's the HD thing, isn't it? Creates a green area around it. <laughs> what? <laughs> We'd like you to play an elf, and if you could, really ham it up. Really make us feel that that elf is striving for amateur dramatics. Where's all my archer goblins? Come on, don't just stand around. Oh, that was it. Oh, dear. I thought we'd at least have to go down to the lower levels and out on the wings. The power of Sauron, that was a little easy, no really, actually, victory. all things considered, wasn't it? No monotonous boat drag. Oh, that's such a blessing and, a, and such a change. The remaining elves have scattered into the hills. Scattered into the hills. Uh, he's dead, guys. Now the goblins have an ancient debt to pay to the hobbits of the nearby Shire. <laughs> he's got big eyes as well. That bit's very loud, isn't it? Fly me, O'Reilly. What happened to our units there? 
Oh, the um, ships dropped them off and they all died. <laughs> ah, well, there you go. Mission two, 22 minutes and 42 seconds. Quite, quite, quite simple. And next up, the burning of the Shire. I'm not expecting much resistance in the burning of the Shire, if I'm honest. But it'll be what it'll be. But anyway, for now, thank you very much for tuning in for this one. I do hope that you've enjoyed this little foray into the assault onto the Grey Havens. Um, and yes, Elrond is right. We do have an ancient grudge against the Hobbits of the Shire because, of course, the Battle of Greenfields was between the Hobbits and the Goblins, where um, Bandabras Took, Bandabras Bullroarer Took, struck the head clean off of Goldfimble's shoulders and his invading Goblins. So they're playing on that to uh, to generate this. This revenge plot, apparently. But anyway, hopefully it'll be a laugh. But until the next one, have a good week, everyone, and I will see you soon. Navar and Edenper Mad and farewell.